Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas. I'm out in Anza Borrego today running a route it's, that's one of my favorites. And uh, out in the middle of the Badlands, so no cell service. And um, one of the things that you want to be prepared for in overlanding is the ability to get help. Particularly if you're like me and you travel uh, solo a lot, uh, it's really important to have uh, ways to call if you can't self-rescue. So for many years, I've used the Garmin inReach and uh, I have and pay for a monthly Iridium satellite. And there's a button on this that you push SOS. And uh, wherever you're at, basically in the world with this, um, you're gonna get some help. But the big advantage to this, not only is the SOS, but if you have a loved one at home or you wanna communicate that you've arrived safely at camp or you've maybe broken down and you need some particular item uh, brought out to you, this is a really good solution. The other nice thing about this is if I uh, run across somebody on the trail and they're having an issue, I can actually do the same thing for them, do an SOS. So highly recommend this, but there's kind of a new player out there that um, is, is intriguing, and that is the latest Apple iPhone has emergency service. Now currently Apple is not charging for this, I would expect that in the next year or two, you'll see some kind of a service uh, plan similar to what the Iridium has. So I've re recorded, screen recorded um, kind of how you do this. It, actually on the phone, if you go to settings and emergency, there's a demo that's not live, but it allows you to actually select uh, the satellites in the sky. Now, this is not something you want to use to chat back with a family member or a friend. This is really for emergency only, and that's the big difference between the iPhone emergency and uh, the Iridium. Uh, you'll see on the demo that it actually connected, told you which way to face the phone, told you when you were connected to the satellite, and that allowed some back and forth text communications between you and the emergency contact. So with overlanding, preparation is key. And I see so many people that come out into these areas. Uh, this is Monday, and I've, I've not seen anybody out here the entire day. Um, and they don't come out prepared. They don't have water. They don't have some food. They don't have recovery gear. They don't have any communication gear. And they get themselves in trouble. So I hope this uh, video has been helpful. Uh, if it has, I would greatly appreciate a like. Even better, I'm trying to grow this channel. And if you would subscribe, I would be really happy. And remember, get outside and enjoy the outdoors.